Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of uh, Video Game Expedition, The Pickups. Alright, so, I have um, not too many pickups from the um, actual Expedition episode. Uh, a lot of my pickups are from Craigslist and Offer Up this week, uh, but some good stuff. Um, so, let's break it into two parts. I'm going to show you the stuff that I got from the thrift stores, and then I'll go back in time and pop up the video of the opening of the uh, online stuff that I got the other day. And then we'll come back and we'll look at the stuff that I got from uh, Craigslist last night. All right, so let's do it. Okay, so this is all I got from the thrift store. And only three of them are video games. Okay, so let's go with the two things I didn't get. Um, Two dollars, Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Uh, I love this show, and I have it, but one of my discs is a uh, not playing the episode all the way. So I figured for two dollars, I pick this up and try it out. And the other thing is Clash of the Titans in 3D. Um, I picked this up. Please be in there. Okay, it is in there. Because uh, I have the PSVR. And I wanted to start collecting some uh, V3D movies if they're cheap enough. And hey, it's cheap enough. So I want to see what it looks like on the PSVR. I tried uh, the Adam Sandler movie, uh, Pixels. And it was okay. I'm hoping it was just the movie and that's not the experience for all 3D movies. But I have to check this out next. Okay. Now those are the movies out of the way. Next up. Um, three PS2 games. I know I don't have this one. I'm so glad I started keeping track of my games because now I know when I'm out there. Ratchet and Clank. Uh, up your arsenal. I played the first one. I really liked it, so I want to try playing the next ones. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, I have it for the uh, Xbox, but I wanted to get it for the PlayStation 2 as well so I can see the difference between the two. I would imagine the Xbox one is probably the nicer looking one, but not necessarily the better looking one. So, for the price, can it beat it? And my only fine for the sale day. So, you know, like, I like to go to the Goodwills on um, their dollar day because if the game's been there for a couple weeks, they put them for a dollar. Uh, this is the only one I found. And it's James Bond, Everything or Nothing. Uh, I have this one for the GameCube, I believe. But I want it for the PS2 as well. Um, I believe this one is kind of like... It's not based off a movie. So it's kind of like its own uh, its own game, but it has voice actors, some heavy hitters. William Dafoe, Shannon Elizabeth, uh, Heidi Klum, uh, John Cleese. Yeah, it's it pretty much, I believe it plays like a movie version of the game. So I had to check it out for that. All right. Those are the three games that I got from the thrift store this week. Not a big find. Um, but I do have some good finds for the week, and uh, we'll hit the we'll go back in time and play those videos now. So let's go, guys. So welcome to this part of the video. Um, so we're not in the past. We're actually after the video that I just filmed. So that's unfortunate. So now the other clip got destroyed, so I had to film in my pickups again. So this one will probably be a little bit quicker. So yeah. All right. So, I know what all the games are now because I already opened this and did this video before. So, first up, Ken Griffey Jr. for the Super Nintendo. Not in the best condition, um, but, man, it needs a cleaning. Um, I only paid like a dollar for it. RCA Pro-Am. And then two Nintendo games in their sleeves. I love those sleeves. Almost mint condition. Turtles 1. I love this game. Uh, I used to own it. And I I went to go beat this game the couple months ago. And I couldn't find it anymore. So I'm not sure whatever happened to it. That's unfortunate. But now I got it back. 
and it was a pretty good deal. Alpha Mission. And I had to pick this one up. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Got this one as well. The Dreamcast Collection. For the Xbox 360. Uh, Crazy Taxi. I already own it for the Xbox. Uh, Space Channel Part 5. I mean Space Channel 5 Part 2. Sonic's Adventures and Sega Bass Fishing. I mean Sonic Adventures. Yeah, and Sega Bass Fishing. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the Bass Fishing, but hey. Now this one I had to pick up because I love this game. And I don't know what happened to it. I... Pretty sure I would never trade it in, but Resident Evil, the remake for the GameCube. Um, I played the one for the PS1 a couple times. It was at a cousin's house, so I never really played the game to beat it. So I wasn't really a big Resident Evil fan. But then this one came out, I picked it up, and I think I beat this game four or five times for the GameCube. I'm trying to get the fastest time so I can get the grenade launcher and all that bonus stuff. So yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a good game. If you've never played this version, definitely pick it up. Cage Kai, The Fist of Steel. Uh, complete. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Circus Mysteries, The Great, starring Mickey Mouse and Minnie. I only picked this one up because the price wasn't bad on it, and I like the Disney games. Most of them are at least pretty decent to play through. So I figure, you know, price of a rental, basically. Play it. If I don't like it, get rid of it for the same price. Terminator 2 for the Game Boy. Um, Terminator 2 is one of my favorite movies as a kid, so... When I saw it there, I'm like, alright, pick it up. Dracula. Crazy Vampire. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, the way the place worked was, you know, set price for shipping, then for each additional item it was a dollar. So... I pretty much looked at all the cheapest items and saw if there was anything I wanted. Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, I just want to pick this one up because I wanted to see what Mortal Kombat 3 would look like on the Game Boy. Um, I'm not expecting much, but hey. Alright, there we go. Alright, so these are my online pickups. Uh, yeah. So, with this and the other things I got earlier, not a bad, uh, or earlier in the front. Actually, you'll see this before you see the other stuff. So, all together, not bad. Alright guys, let's so we're back in the future and let's go over the games I picked up last night. So not like a crazy yard sale de uh, find that you may see on other videos where it's like, oh I got all this for like $20. Uh, no, I played a pretty plenty for this stuff. Uh, still worth it. Still under retail, still under eBay, way under flea market uh, resellers. So um, the two things I paid for, I paid $100 for both of them. So, yeah, I'm okay with that because a lot of stuff I can trade that I already own, and I'll get what I, I'll get what I need out of it. So let's go over those things first. Uh, we'll start in chronological order. So this bag first. Ah. So we got. We'll do the games last. Not many games, just a couple. We got a Super Nintendo. Man, this thing is pretty beautiful looking. A little yellow right there in the front, but the bottom is perfect. It is a uh, Model 001, 1991. Pretty nice. All right. Came with some controllers. Now. I don't know if these are old third-party controllers or newer third-party controllers, but I love the button colors. Reminds me of the uh, Japanese one, I believe. Skittles or Smarties. Uh, just says made in China. D-pad is horrible. Buttons feel nice though. All right, and then I got this one called the Super Pad by Interactive. And again, this one looks like it might be from back in the day. Power cord, RF modulator. I'm not, just, 
random junk. That's the thing about buying them off of Craigslist when the person really just wants to get rid of it. They have like random wires in here that they didn't know what it was for. Alright. Regular Super Nintendo controller. And another regular Super Nintendo controller. And one more controller. Now this one's cool because I remember this brand as a kid buying them from GameStop. Uh, Pelican. So I don't know if this this must be an original. I don't think they make it anymore. Uh, it feels pretty nice. It almost feels like a uh, actual Nintendo controller. All right. So the games. So it came with six games. I basically paid fifty dollars for this. All right. First up. Let's go with the, uh, Zope. Uh, I don't know what this is. I looked it up, and I still don't know what it is. So, uh, I can't wait to try this game out. Next up, Super Mario World. So, not a lot of heavy hitters in this game, but, you know, for $50, I feel like it's worth it. Pitfall, the mine adventure. I was glad this one is in there because I've been, uh, playing Pitfall lately. I just uh, beat the one for the uh, Atari 2600 and I was uh, started playing the one for the Wii. If you've never played that one, it kind of reminds me like a uh, platform from the N64 days just on the Wii. Uh, it's very linear but it's pretty fun to play. Well I want to say very linear. If you have to level up your guy in some ways to backtrack and get other things, it's, it's fun. Check it out. Alright. Now this one, not in the best condition, but Frogger. I don't have that, so I'll be keeping that one. Pac-Man 2. Yeah, I was very disappointed in this game when I was a kid. I just beat Mrs. Pac-Man for the Genesis, rented this, and at the time I was let down. So I'm going to revisit this game, but as a kid I did not like it. And then Tetris and Dr. Mario. Uh, I'm only keeping this one because it has Dr. Mario in it. Two games in one. And you know what? I've never seen this one before, so I'm going to play it. Alright, so. Those are the Super Nintendo games that I got. We'll move this to the side. Put it back in its bag. I'll keep the controllers right there. Alright, next up. The second thing of the two lots. So, basically, $100 for two of them. And we got N64 now. They both came with six games. This one even came with a bonus electrical plug. Okay, we got the wires. Uh, two AV cables for the N64, which is that good because I can use it for Super Nintendo as well. So put that down. It came with uh, one N64 controller. One watermelon red N64 controller. The RF modulator for that. That's cool. Okay. It came with the N64, obviously. And has a little red pack inside. Okay. And we'll go over the games now. So this one's a lot, the games are a lot better on this one. Um, these are some great titles that I'm um, glad I can add to my collection. So, Yoshi's Story. Mario Party. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have this one. I thought I did, but I have Mario Party 3. So. The New Tetris. Paper Mario. Super Mario 64, and Donkey Kong 64. So, you know, wasn't a great deal with no yard sales this week and no flea markets. Um, I didn't really get a lot of chance to go hunting. It was just basically at the stores, and that's a bigger hit than miss than the yard sales than flea markets can be. So, I was glad I found some things online and uh, locally through Craigslist. So, yeah, I think I had a great, great week. I look at it this way, if I saw this at the uh, 
at a yard sale for 50 bucks, I would have picked it up, so why not pick it up off of Craigslist? So, all right, guys, uh, that's what I got. Um, I'm hoping that now that the yard sale season's open over, maybe more people will be posting on Craigslist, and I'll have a chance to kind of scope those things out before uh, somebody else does, and hopefully find better deals than what my yard sale hunt was going. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys found this week. Uh, have a good night. Keep on gaming, and catch you next time.